practice and offer specialized course I have always dreamed of taking, uh, like cultural heritage study. I also want to learn about international relations because I know that cultural um, understanding alone is not enough for a career in this heritage management field. So finding the right balance of historical, political and economic insight into global and regional perspective is required to be a well-rounded scholar and competent practitioner. So that's why I chose GSAP. Okay, um, there are so many good points about GSAP. First of all, all of the lectures here are insightful and given by a distinguished faculty members. So I learned a lot from all courses I took. And besides, um, I really appreciate the bilingual Japanese English curricula because I can. Um, it allows me to choose freely either to take the course in Japanese or English, which is really beneficial to me because I could broaden my <coughs> vocabulary in in terms of uh, academic vocabulary, and I also can improve my proficiency in English and Japanese. And lastly. GSAP offered max scholarship, so I knew that if I was granted a scholarship, I would be, I could try as an academic, and I can focus on my research without having to worry about high cost of living in Japan. My semi um, really helped me a lot with my research because the instruction and the guidance I receive from my advisor is really beneficial to my studies. He is an expert in this field, so he can give me a lot of constructive comments and suggestions. And when you are doing research, especially PhD, it's easy to get lost in a huge chunk of information, but he always um, keeps me on track, so I really appreciate his advice. Also, like discussion among um, semi friends, like the student who is under the same supervisor, is also very helpful to me as well. Because even though every one of us, we are doing different research topic and we also have totally different uh, academic background, but um, the discussion, the comments from them help me broaden my perspective and give me, an, uh, it helps me look at my thesis from different angles, so I really learn a lot from them. Also, I really appreciate the nice and friendly atmosphere because I can freely talk about my thesis and they would give me a really friendly advice so my life as PhD isn't that scary like not nearly as scary as I expected so I really enjoy my life here a lot. My life in Tokyo is so much fun like Tokyo is so convenient it's vibrant and it's diverse I can find almost everything I enjoy here like for example um, there are a lot of good places to eat good restaurants there are a lot of good places to have good food, like starting from street food to fancy restaurants. And it's not just Japanese food. Japan, um, Tokyo has a lot of variety of, of food from many countries that I can try. Also, um, a lot of interesting art exhibitions from around the world come to Tokyo. So I don't have to go to Norway or Europe to see those arts, but it would eventually come to Tokyo so I can just wait here. And Japanese people can find a way to make the, in the, the exhibition interesting because well, sometimes I'm not into that style of art, but I want to check it out anywhere because I believe that Japanese curator can make it more interesting or fun to me. And I also in I'm also into aspect of Japanese culture, pop culture like anime and manga. So living in a city that I can easily get my hands on the latest issues or merchandise is like living in a dream. I've been living here for five years, and I'm still not get bored of it because I think each area in Tokyo they have their own personalities like Shibuya, Daikangyama, Koenji, or Kichijoji, or uh, Jimbojo Akihabara. So I think it's fun and you can eat, um, you can surround yourself by natural beauty as easily as a fancy department store or skyscraper. Most more, um, the city is changing all the time so I think it's harder to keep up than to get more of it. I think you can challenge yourself in many ways here at GSAP because 
Jisab offer you a very um, culturally and socially diverse atmosphere. So it's not only academic um, perspective that you're gonna uh, not you can learn. Uh, it's not about academic only, but you can also learn to be more adaptive, to be more creative, to be more um, good with people. Like you can improve your interpersonal skills as well. And moreover, Waseda facility is very convenient. It's really great for study. We have a really big library that contains almost everything you want to read. And they also offer a lot of extra curriculums that you can join and have fun with other international students. You can also have a lot of good Japanese friends. You can make friends with other faculties. And I think your life here in Waseda and GSAP would be so much fun and beneficial into your academic life and career in the future.